Okay, hey everyone, how's it going? So this video is going to be as fast as possible. I meant to do a full video of this, but I just haven't had time. Um, I do have a new unit down here that I will hopefully be able to spend about a week with to show you guys all around it. Um, but it's almost pointless because this is the last batch of the 9.0 inverters. They made a small run of these things. And the 9.0 inverters on the 15,000 watts are the last ones that include the charging function, an actual charging board. And so it's, it's, um, it's, it is what it is. I mean, um, for now at least, for the next couple generations, the largest inverters, that is the big ones, these here, are not going to have the charging feature. Okay? So this is the last batch of them. So if you need a very large inverter and you need the charging function to go with it, unfortunately powerjack is not going to be able to offer those you can keep finding them on ebay they did make a run of them um you can find them on ebay um but if you want an inverter that's a 15 kilowatt inverter and you want the charging function i can build you an 8.0 uh inverter which would be totally fine um although i do not like shipping them out with the charging function enabled so that's probably not going to be your best bet so anyway, this is version 8.5 or what they're calling version 9. It's kind of a mid-release, mid a, a refresh or whatever you want to call it. So in this particular inverter, they still have the two main boards. The control board has been updated with all the version 9, um, you know, the, like the power tank stuff. It's all right there. That's the latest uh, control board. You can see that they updated the connectors. You got a ribbon cable now that runs to the charger board. The charger board is basically the same. It's got some different connectors on it. You can see here. Um, those are for the updated LCD screens, which are on the front. I'm sorry, I can't show you those right now. Um, but they are for the updated LCD screens uh, to help because these things get pulled out quite often or damaged. So these new connectors help keep those in place. And, of course, they have the new uh, relay. It says 24 volts, but it's actually the same uh, for 48 and 24 volts. This is a 48-volt unit. Um, so, yeah, there's the new relay. They basically placed it on there, um, which I think is a pretty decent spot. And then what they did is they moved the control board to this side over here. Um, and I think in the newest versions, the control board is actually going to be flipped, and it's going to be on top of the uh, the other main board but the charger board excuse me the charger board the charger board is not going to be technically a charger board here coming up soon um it's going to you know still have the the caps the filters and so on but it's not going to have any relays or anything else to charge with these mosfets are going to work in one direction and one direction only so that is for efficiency and reliability now you can see right here in the the middle these are in-house made transformers this is the first batch um, that are actually being sold they're in-house made transformers now if you do happen to get a hold of one of these units and it has the transformer bracket it's the version 9 um, i still highly recommend that if the inverter is running fine you delid this thing okay this is an insulated transformer bolt so it's insulated from the chassis. It looks like it's connected, but it's not. They've got some foam padding to make sure that no metal comes in contact with the transformer. And this bracket keeps that transformer totally in place. You could drop this thing from a 10-story building, and that transformer isn't going anywhere. And that's the whole point of it. But if you do happen to have one of these, I still highly recommend that you delid the transformer. So you have to remove the bracket. Remove the transformer lid and then the rubber pad to help keep it cool. I personally recommend that. It's not required. And it, there is a risk, of course, obviously, with anything that you modify with any of these inverters. So that is uh, a recommendation, but totally up to you. And, of course, you'd be responsible for anything that would go wrong. But if you want it to run cooler, that's what you would have to do. Um, so this is the in-house uh, made transformers that they have. Um, what they did was they also installed um, filters. You can see there's three of them there, and then they've got three more down there. These are all filters that help to clean up the sine wave from the transformers. 
and it really does make a huge difference. These the the sine wave is extremely clean on these things now. Um, so even the smallest of impurities in the transformer core will not affect the sine wave output. Um, so yeah, but that's basically it. Um, that's your kind of mid-year refresh, and that's what it looks like. This is the inside of it. It weighs about five to eight pounds more than the previous generation. It's got the all updated cables and wiring and everything else like that. That'd be pretty easy to work on, actually. I'm looking forward to actually getting some of these. Uh, but who knows if I'll ever have one to repair. We'll see. So anyway, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. GenitreeSolar.com. And take care.